Hi, welcome to another episode of Sip9 Hub. For this video, we will be continuing our presentation in the first part. In that video, we introduced statistics. We also differentiated the two fields of statistics. Those are descriptive and inferential. We also differentiated population from a sample. A parameter from a statistic and we answered some exercises about them. In this video, we will be talking about variables and attributes. But before we continue, do not forget to like this video, hit the subscription and notification bell to stay updated of future videos. Anything that varies within your subjects or a group of objects are called variables. These are characteristics observed from people or animals or even ideas and behaviors. Just like in mathematics, a variable assumes more than one value. Otherwise, if it has only one value, then it is not a variable but a constant. Variables are generally divided into two. The first division comprises variables that are not associated with numbers but with categories. In research, it is possible that we assign numbers for these qualitative data during encoding. For example, we may assign one for male and two for female. But this assignment of numbers, otherwise termed as coding, does not make these variables quantitative. They remain qualitative. A true quantitative variable are those whose values are numbers. Quantitative variables are further subdivided into two, discrete or continuous. Discrete variables are those that we can count number of votes number of classroom number of chairs and so on so forth the value of a discrete quantitative variable is only meaningful for integral or whole numbers in other words discrete variables cannot have decimal values it would be meaningless to say that there are 2.25 people inside a classroom or 1005 point five votes for a politician. Decimal values become meaningful for a continuous quantitative variable. These are variables that are measured. Length and weight are classic examples. Values such as 2.54 inches or 3.78 kilogram makes sense. Let us consider the following examples. For qualitative variable, our first example is sex. And an attribute for that variable, we have male and female. Again, an attribute refers to the possible values for that particular variable. There are actually two possible values only, male and female. Another variable, the province you come from. Possible values are Mountain Province, Benguet, Ifugao, or whatever province that we come from. Performance rating as either poor, average, excellent. These are all qualitative variables. Example for quantitative discrete variables. The first example here, number of students, 51, 43 are possible attributes, meaning 51 students, 43 students. Number of guns, 2 guns, 10 guns, or of course there are other possible attributes for that. Number of COVID-19 cases, 45,322,471 cases. Of course, you can identify other possible attributes. 
Again, these are discrete quantitative variables. They are numerical. However, decimal values are not meaningful because discrete variables are associated with count data. You are actually counting the number of observations for each variable. And an example for quantitative continuous variables, hair length. It could be in centimeters, could be measured in centimeters, 2 centimeters, 10.3 centimeters. Body weight in kilograms, 50 kilogram, 75.6 kilogram, or even volume of a tank, 4.5 meter cube, 2.7 meter cube, etc. Okay, let's have another question here. We have five variables, but we're going to identify which are qualitative. The first variable, we have color of automobile involved in several severe accidents, length of time required for rats to move through a maze, classification of police administration as city, country, or state, the rating given to a pizza in a taste test as poor, good, or excellent. The number of times subjects in a sociological research study have been married. Which of the five variables are qualitative? You have the first, the third, and the fourth. Color is qualitative. Length is not qualitative, that is measured, so we associate numbers. Classification of police administration as city, so these are already labels. City, country, and state are labels. They are very qualitative. Rating of a pizza as poor, good, or excellent are labels. The number of times subject, so it's it has a clue here. The number course, it is associated with numbers that makes it quantitative, not qualitative. You have three variables. Let's identify which. Actually, they are all quantitative, but let's identify which are discrete and which are continuous. The first one, number of children per household. Do you count number of children or do you measure it using a measuring device? You count it, that's why it's discrete. Number of handguns per household number gives us a clue that we count it, it's still discrete. Number of hours spent per week. So, hours you can measure it using your watch. It is possible to work in 1.5 hours that means 1 hour and 30 minutes that's meaningful still 2.3 hours that's still meaningful that makes it continuous all right let me cut the video here in the next presentation we will be discussing the different levels of measurement i will see you there